All right, let's see what we got going here. Okay, so we're actually doing the finish work now, the absolute finish. Like, you know, you put the mortar in the wall. Um, it's You can see here it's unfinished. So you can see the difference between here, how we're tying into this existing wall, and how we're coming across. So that you can see the taper on our repair, okay? I've, uh, I've used a jointing tool to strike it. And part of striking it also is pushing, you know, you're pushing it in and you're feeling it so that you don't have any empty spots. You're gonna have some empty spots now and then. You got some dry mortar with you and tuck pointed in. This little section of wall, since it's cool today, um, I did it by hand, meaning that I took a trowel, put mud on the underside of the trowel and tuck pointed it in like this picked it up to do the head joints, used uh, a slicker, which I'm using as a tuck pointer, tuck pointing tool. And then you can, you know, on a cool day, your mortar's not gonna dry as fast. Um, so we put it in, it needs to be a little stiff before you strike it. If it's wet, it just, it goes, every, you know, it pushes in too far, so you need to let it set. But here's what we've gotten to, we're doing finish work. So we're, we started here, we're coming across the wall with a wire brush. Um, I'm really putting the wire brush at an angle right down on the top of the brick of the joint that I'm doing. And I'm taking the mortar off of the edge of the brick. Simultaneously, it is roughing out the joint, which is what I want. If there's any indentations, broken parts of brick, I want to taper out of that, taper away from it. I don't want to mud that in because you'll probably notice on any given wall, particularly old houses, there's chipped out bricks. The bricklayers laid them that way, but they didn't push mud into them like this guy. He's totally clean. He's been here 100 years, never had any mud pushed onto him. So if I, if I mud onto that, it's going to look out of place. It's not going to map. It's going to catch your eye. It's going to be noticeable. And my whole thing with doing this work is you know, repairing things and not, it doesn't look repaired, you know, and I think that's where the um, kind of the art and the craft go into uh, restoration type work, you know, and you, you got to be probably a little crazy to do it anyway, because most guys don't have the patience for it, and um, even guys that have worked for me, old brick masons, holy crap, and this stuff would drive them nuts, you know? and they could lay brick all over me. But man, they hate doing restoration work, you know. They just want to make type in, type in masonry mortar every day and lay brick normal. And, and uh, But that's not the business I'm in. I'm really in the business of rep repair and restoration. And um, that's where I've spent all my time doing this. I've worked for stonemasons. I've done, you know, custom stone work. I've done different things. I've done brick work and, you know, but I've also trained under guys that, that did nothing but, but repair and restoration. And it, it's really a different, it's really a different thing, a different animal because you gotta make all your mortars and you gotta match colors. And there's a lot more playing around that way with your mortar than regular, you know, new work. Um, as far as the color goes, um, you can see it's drying out on the on the trowel, and it's pretty damn close. Um, we're trying to hit something in the middle. I mean, some places on this it's super beige, and some places it's lighter. Um, so we're we're trying to be somewhere in the middle, so that generally speaking, it just kind of blends into the wall and doesn't stand out. Um, now I struck these a little bit late, and you can see the dark marks on them. Normally that would be unacceptable, but because I'm gonna wire brush it, it does not matter. Because that is gonna get brushed out anyway, okay? If you were, if that was a finished joint and it needed to be struck like that, then you'd have to strike it a lot faster uh, before it hardened. And um, you would wanna keep that tool wet and, uh, and not have, you know, you don't wanna have black marks in your mortar that's not a good thing so we're not doing that we're just wire brushing it and and then I'm using a nylon bristle brush I mean these are all things you can get from Home Depot six bucks five bucks something like that um, 
Yeah. So that's that. So I'll keep cruising on it. And, uh, and thanks for watching.